Hello again, Terry Bailey, Senior Minister of Indian Run Christian Church in East Canton, Ohio. Continuing to look through the book of Philippians for things that are good advice at all times, but especially good advice right now. In the first message in this series, I've encouraged us all to spend more time on our knees praying that we empty ourselves and God pours into that space the peace that passes all understanding. The second half of that same passage from Philippians 4, beginning with verse 8, reads like this. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if there is any excellence, and if anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. The things you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. Again, the end point is that the God of peace and the peace of God should be with us as his people. Well, here's one way to get there. Think on the things that are positive and beautiful and virtuous and excellent. And I know that that's hard to do watching the news right now because the news is filled with everything negative and discordant and shameful. But I promise you, I have seen it myself. There is much beauty out there right now. There are people who are digging deep and sacrificing and taking care of others and rising to new heights of compassion and action that they had never imagined before. There are church congregations that are learning new and creative ways to put forth the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are people working together with a common spirit such as we have not seen for a while. Yes, there are things that are pure and excellent and lovely going on. Again, you may not hear about them on the evening news, but you won't have to look far to see them. Concentrate on these things and let them be your focus. And the God of peace will be with you. If you would join me again for prayer. Father, help us in the darkness to see these points of light and to know them for what they are. To perceive the beauty, the glory that you bring into the world through your obedient children. And let these things bring your peace to us. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.